Hello everyone, welcome back. This is my fourth project for Kid Holder Kits for the month of May. It is a 9 by 12 project life layout and I am documenting week 13. <clears throat> now in the kit that we got this month, a lot of the papers and cards had this beautiful holographic foiling on it. And I was really happy because I had a matching uh, alpha set that had holographic foils on it so I, I loved being able to use this on this layout because it so ties in to the amazing holographic uh phrases on the other cards now i couldn't use too much of this on this particular layout but you will see me using that same alpha in a layout next week where i can use it a lot more uh, for my week i am using a stamp set and i'm going to use this uh embossing powder that we got in the mixed media kit for that and as you emboss that the colors of that embossing powder is just so perfect with the minty colors that came along with this kit and i absolutely love it with the little pops of black um sparkles as well works really well with the pops of black in the kit so it was just the perfect embossing powder <clears throat> So I use this, so all the cards I'm using for this layout came from the cut apart sheets. Now, the one cut apart sheet, the one that had all of the three by four cards, as I cut those down and I tried to put them in my um, album here, I actually realized that a lot of them are shorter than three by four, which meant that there was a bit of white space down the top or the bottom. So what I did is I actually just found a more neutral color from the kit, a new, sorry, a new more neutral paper from the kit. And that was a, like a light pink one. And I cut those out to three by four. And then I just stuck the smaller cards on top. So that's why you can see those tiny little borders at the top and the bottom of this card and the happiness card as well. So to decorate that card, I just add a little dash border to bring in some more black and then I'm going to leave it there. These two photos need a little bit more journaling and so I'm going to use the same design formula on both of these cards. I am adding a label and then I'm also going to add a, <clears throat> a little, from the puffy sticker title sheet that we got in this month's kit, I am going to find a matching or like a little sentiment that actually matches that pretty well so I the first story at the top there is about my daughter who's painting her own little cookie that I got at the market and the second story is about my beautiful little nephew who's all snug and cute and we love him but they've gone back to their hometown which is a long drive away and so I we miss him very much the last story on this particular layout is of our anniversary and I didn't get any photos of the dinner that we went to um, but it was our ninth year anniversary and so I treated Justin in the morning. I took him to a coffee and we had what I think is called a Nutagino maybe or something like that. It's got a funny, cool, quirky name like a Cruffin or something. It's not a Cruffin obviously. But anyway, it's a donut that's hollowed out and then a latte or a coffee or whatever is put inside. So I had a flat white because that's what I drink. But I thought it would be really fun to take it. Now, I enjoyed it, but I actually preferred it more once I drank all the coffee. I couldn't finish it all um, at the same time. I drank all the coffee and then I left most of the donut to later. And then just the like hint of coffee in the donut with the chocolate was much nicer because it's lined with chocolate. Anyway, that was a tangent. This layout is done. <laughs> um, I will see you all next week for my final layout for Kidola Kids for the month of May. Bye.